Hello, welcome. In this video we explain why didn't USSR or Soviet Union annex Finland after Second World War. This question can be answered pointing at three different periods. First, why didn't it happen as consequence of the Winter War? The peace treaty was finalized when fighting was still ongoing. Soviet Union did not at that point have the capability to annex Finland. The question then automatically goes to why Soviet Union did not continue the war to annex Finland. March 1940 Soviet Union had to take into account few things. Spring was immediately at the door. And this would mean that the mechanized forces would have slowed down as the ground would warm up and get muddy. Combined to this, the worry that the probability of Britain, France getting involved grew over time. While we in hindsight know that there wasn't huge possibility of that, Soviet leadership at the time didn't know it. And they didn't want war with Britain and France over Finland. Second, why didn't it happen immediately after the Winter War? Soviets were gearing up to finish what they started, but Germany intervened. Secret deals between Finland and Germany started in summer of 1940 and during the autumn 1940, Germany decided to assist Finland. Most concrete example of this help is Molotov's visit in Germany in November 1940 where he demanded that Germans stop helping Finns and that Soviet Union wanted to deal with Finland as it did with Baltic states, occupation and annexation. Hitler personally rebuffed this and demanded that there shouldn't be any military actions in Northern Europe before summer 1941. Finns were unofficially notified about this. Here's linked to summary of Soviet, Germany discussions in late 1940. Hitler-Molotov meeting Berlin 1940 so immediately after the Winter War. It was the Germans that were protecting Finland from annexation. Third, 1944 or 1945 as Soviet Union had upper hand with Germany. Soviet Union started summer offensive against Finland in summer of 1944. They pushed Finns back about 100 kilometers trying to reach Kotka to dictate terms to Finns. The offensive, while initially very successful, failed to reach the targets assigned to it and thus Soviets accepted more lenient terms for negotiation for peace with Finland. At this point I doubt Soviet Union wanted to annex Finland anymore, just put friendly socialist government in power. Why the change in goals? Finland simply wasn't that important anymore. Soviet Union had the upper hand against Germany and when the peace with Finland was being negotiated, Soviet troops were on Germany's borders. Gulf of Finland wasn't critical issue anymore. With control of Poland they already had control of harbors throughout the Baltic Sea and there was no longer worry of someone bottlenecking their navy in Leningrad. Another good reason is that Finland would work as buffer. Finns had shown they are stubborn and ready to fight, and Finnish SSR could be more of a liability than asset in case of war. Neutral Finland would mean that there was 1,000 kilometers of less hostile border. One reason that might have affected Soviet leadership as gesture is that Finns did not attack Leningrad even when they were requested by Germans to do so. I think it lessened the need for having revenge against the Finns. I hope you enjoy our video. If you enjoy our video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share.